Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in this video I will be going over the new 4K Ultra HD pre-orders and announcements for January 26th, 2024. Now keep in mind release dates and technical specs are subject to change. If there are any changes or additional retail or exclusives, I will update them in a future video. Also, be sure to check out my previous 4K pre-order videos for titles you may be looking for and were not covered here. Direct Amazon links to the titles listed in this video when they are live can be found on the channel's community page. This week, Warner Brothers officially dated Wonka for its 4K release, and that will be February 27th. It will have a standard slipcover edition and will support HDR, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos audio. And don't forget, with Walmart taking over the exclusive 4K Steelbook editions, they will have one also releasing on the 27th. It is currently up for pre-order over on Walmart's website, and it should be in store on release day. After what seems like forever since the initial announcement, The Abyss, True Lies, and Aliens on 4K are now starting to go up for pre-order. Now, a lot of the major retailers such as Deep Discount, Target, and Walmart are currently up available for pre-order, but Amazon still has their placeholder listings, at least as of the recording of this video. As soon as the Amazon listings go live, I will of course update my community page. The official release date for the remake of The Manchurian Candidate on 4K was announced in a previous video for March 19th. Well, Kino Lorber now has the official artwork for the film, and it is currently up for pre-order over at Kino Lorber's website, and other online retailers should follow soon. Coming out on the same day will be Changing Lanes starring Ben Affleck and Samuel L. Jackson, and that is also currently up for pre-order. Coming out one week later on 4K from Kino Lorber is Paint Your Wagon starring Lee Marvin and Clint Eastwood. Given a soft announcement in last week's video, King Kong from 1976 now has an official release date of April 9th, as well as the artwork for the upcoming Steelbook edition. Now, no word yet if a standard release will also be coming out the same day, and the Steelbook is non-exclusive. Announced this week from Paramount, on April 16th, the Jack Ryan 5 Movie Ultimate Collection will be out. Now, while this was released as a set a couple years back, this new edition will have individual cases. The transfers and audio and picture specs are all going to be the same. So really the only difference is the individual cases included. So this is currently up for pre-order at various retailers. Coming out on April 23rd from Blue Underground, Goodbye Uncle Tom is coming to 4K. It will support HDR and Dolby Vision and a DTS audio mix. Arrow Video this morning announced their 4K release for the month of April. On April 30th, the horror film Basket Case is finally arriving on the 4K format. It will support HDR and Dolby Vision for the grading and a PCM audio mix. There will also be a Arrow Web Store exclusive edition of the film, only available once again at the Arrow video site. Shout Factory's upcoming 4K slate for April is starting to leak, but we don't have firm release dates, at least as of the recording of this video. So first up, Rolling Thunder is coming to the 4K format and will be part of the Shout Select line. The Faculty is also scheduled for a release on 4K from Shout Factory. Once again, we don't have an official release date, but I expect next week's video will have all that information. These being Shout titles, I firmly expect to see HDR, Dolby Vision, and probably DTS audio mixes. Kino Lorber announced this past week that the film in and out starring Kevin Klein will be coming to 4K, and I expect to see this in the back half of 2024. Coming from Dark Force Entertainment, the film Terror Train is expected to get a 4K release sometime this year. As soon as we get official cover art and a firm release date, I will update that in a future video. In the international release section of this video, I'm going to have some information on China O'Brien parts 1 and 2 coming to 4K. Well, Vinegar Syndrome got wind of the news and has also confirmed that the domestic U.S. release will be handled by that particular label, and I expect an official announcement to be very soon and a release date probably in the next few months. Okay, so this next bit of news, take with a bit of grain of salt, because it looks like the director of Tron Legacy, who you might recall also directed Top Gun Maverick, was on a podcast this past week and indicated that he is working on a new 4K release of Tron Legacy. It has also been confirmed by the director that a Dolby Atmos mix will be included. Now, we don't have any official word if this is actually coming to physical media or if this is just some sort of digital release or Disney Plus exclusive, 
but I fully expect this to actually come to physical 4K. As always, as the information becomes available, I will update that in a future video. There are some international pre-orders and announcements to go over in this week's video, and as a reminder, most 4K discs are region free. Available in Italy on February 21st, The Last Dragon is making its debut on 4K. It should have the same transfer as the Sony release here in the States, HDR, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos. In the UK on February 22nd, the five movie collection of the Hunger Games films will be coming to 4K in one set. It is expected to have the same transfer as the previous releases here in the States. The movies included in the set are, of course, the first four movies starring Jennifer Lawrence and the new film, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. On March 6th, the Italian edition of Everything Everywhere All at Once will be available on 4K. On March 21st, the Michael Mann film Ferrari is scheduled for release on 4K in both a steelbook, as you see pictured here, and a standard edition. As of right now, this looks to be the only 4K release of the film, but who knows, maybe eventually it will come to the US. Available in Germany on March 21st, Night of the Hunted is expected to come to 4K. April 5th, we'll see the 4K release of the Peter Gabriel concert back to front, and this will be available in France. It looks like pre-order listings are starting to go live internationally for the much-anticipated 4K release of The Hitcher. So on April 12th in France, this is currently up for pre-order, and I expect other international and domestic U.S. release announcements to be coming very soon. And it looks like, funny enough, that the first official 4K announcement for Oliver Stone's Born on the 4th of July is expected to arrive in France on April 16th. Now, I have a very sneaky suspicion that Shout Factory will be handling the domestic U.S. release of this film, and it will be included as part of their April announcement slate. So stay tuned to the channel for that information as it becomes available. Coming out in the UK on April 22nd, One From The Heart Reprise is scheduled for a 4K release. As I mentioned a few moments ago, the 4K release of China O'Brien 1 and 2 is coming out in international markets, this time the UK, and it will be out on April 29th. Aero Video's announcement this morning also had the 4K edition of Basket Case, which just like its US counterpart will be getting a limited edition available at your various online retailers, as well as the Aero Web Store exclusive. Both of these will be released on April 29th. Scheduled for release on June 28th, wow, we are now starting to get into June, Germany will have the 4K edition of the film War Chief. So those are this week's pre-orders and announcements for January 26th, 2024. Don't forget to use the Amazon affiliate links either on the channel's community page or in the comment section below if you're interested in any of the titles I talk about in this video. Also, be sure to let me know in the comment section what titles listed here you're planning to pick up for yourself. And finally, a special thank you to my Patreons for your continued support. If you would like to support me through Patreon, I will leave a link in the description of this video. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.